Some of the fondest memories of my boyhood are taking my old white dog Sparky and heading up Little Shoal Creek with some string and a couple of fish hooks. Along the way somewhere we'd catch a few grasshoppers and maybe I had a pocket knife I'd cut a willow pole. I never liked to eat fish, but I liked to catch them. And old Sparky, he liked the exercise getting out. Uh, it's kind of ironic. I did this sort of thing when I was six, seven, eight years old. I'd take up nine years old. I'd take off up the creek by myself. Mom didn't worry about me. And uh, can you imagine today us letting a nine-year-old or a ten-year-old or twelve-year-old even take off up the creek bank by himself, three or four miles from town? I can't. This is a story, a poem I wrote about that sort of thing, a song, a poem. Do the catfish still swim in the same muddy hole? Do the whippoorwill still sing? <coughs> well, let's start over again. Find us this morning. Do the catfish still swim in the same muddy hole? Do the whippoorwill still sing at the edge of the grove? The ghost of an old oak still wait by the door for the tow-headed youngster who's gone evermore. I'd like to tell you a story which happened to me, you know. It was on a bright and shiny Sunday morning not so long ago. My story starts about the time that Ma comes up and yells, Hey, son, it's time for church to start. Can't you hear them bells? I'll go on, Ma, and leave me be. Can't you tell by looking? I'm smart enough already. I don't need no Bible looking. Well, now you're going anyhow, whether no or not. So get out of bed in them clothes before it gets my paddle hot. So out of bed I slowly climb, but not without a sign. I'll never get to heaven anyhow. Why should I even try? And as I'm tying up my shoes, it sure sets me to wishing that I could spend this beautiful day with just a golden fish. And all of a sudden it comes to me just as plain as it can be. I'll get to go fishing yet. Just you wait and see. I just outside my window there stands a big old oak. So out on limb I quickly climb them shinny to the ground below. And quick as a flash I'm in the barn and I pick up my rod and reel. Then down the cow path by the woods, I something quietly see. What a beautiful day for fishing, as I walk along on my sand. This ain't no day for a boy like me to be in church and praying. Well, I finally reached the creek, and I fished a heart's content. But after hours of catching nothing, my patience was darn near spent. So with my back to the sun singing in the west while the evening breezes blow, the day I pull in my line and homeward I slow the door. And as I draw nigh to the house, the form in the door I see, it's dear old mom with her paddle in her hand, waiting there for me. And after hearing mammy say that she's the one who knows the best, when it comes to choosing between church and fishing, well, I'm a boy, you can guess the rest. Do the catfish still swim in the same muddy hole? Do the whippoorwill still sing? At the edge of the grove, does the ghost of an old dog still wait by the door, or the tow-headed youngster who's gone evermore? <laughs> A lot of memories.